first breaking news today. Just a moment. Well, there are kind of many things happening in the world. And I could tell you that according to my understanding, international situation intensifies. Just a second and I'll <clears throat> read that to you. Yeah, just yeah. this paper? Yeah, just a moment. Uh, sorry about that interruption. There is some technical difficulties. So, okay. We have some news. Where did it go? I'm um, sorry, some technical difficulties. Yes, yeah, it should be better now. Now we have a full sound system operational, hopefully. <clears throat> so, Washington. America told Iran that it was not involved in the attack on the Iranian consulate in Damascus, in which the commander of Revolutionary Guard in Syria and his deputy were killed, the White House announced. So, it looks like they say, oh, uh, don't blame us. Don't blame us. It's not us. Somebody else. Okay, Israel claims that it is not behind the attack, while several Tehran officials have previously threatened revenge for the attack, including the supreme leader of Iran, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, who said that the evil regime must be punished and will be punished. So, my dear <clears throat> viewers, we could conclude that international situation intensifies. And we'll follow the situation. I'll keep you posted. Well, that's it for two days. Breaky, breaky news.